Hey everybody, Kathy here with Pain Pouring by Kathleen Miller. I'm going to do something new again today. I am going to do a tray. I've already done a tray one other time. Um, but this time I'm not going to tape anything off because the last time when I went to pull the tape off, it pulled off some of the paint. And I did not like that. I was really ticked off. So I thought, okay, this time we're going to do it without tape, which is even harder because I can't, I can't tip, I can't do anything. I, can, I just got to blow and tip very lightly and gently in the middle. And I'm using my um, Color Place base for my white. Then I'm using all pigments except one. And the one that I'm not using the pigments, this is the 24 karat gold by Deco Art. And I use the same ingredients, the 15 mils of the Rust-Oleum and the 15 mils of the Vivid Enamel. However, the difference when you use the paint, you have to add a varnish in it to thin it. Only with paints, not with pigments. So my pigments are Moonbeams. This is my first color, Moonbeams. Then we go on to um, the Payne's Gray. This is Snapdragon, of course my gold. And then this one is um, the Mediterranean Blue. And I'm doing them in all the blues with the gold. And then I'm going to use a black activator on it. So just remember, when you do your paints with the Rust-Oleum and the Vivid Enamel, please put in varnish to thin it, but only if you use paints, not in pigments. So here we go. Hey, that's a, that's a really nice uh, tray. Don't, hey, don't get nervous. You only got one, one chance at this. I know, and if I overdo this, there's going to be so much paint. <laughs> no pressure. No, there's no pressure. Because I have to have enough paint to get to the sides. So I'm going to do a double bloom here. I'm going to see how far out this takes me. Like I said, oh. this is a new experiment, so... Oh, I got some unsolicited advice for you. Okay. I wonder if you should pour a little bit in those little corner... Uh, little cold so that there. it yeah yeah stretches to it yeah that way you don't have to stretch it so much into the corner you've already got the white there you got enough white in that one corner I'm gonna go around again Phil I'm doing it slowly because sure enough all of a sudden I would get carried away and that would not I, be good would it I thought I was the only one that got carried away with things. Well, yeah, you're rubbing off on me now. And we're going to, um, we're going to do the wreck it. We're going to wreck the blooms. So hopefully we don't wreck the tray. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Think that ought to do it, Phil? Yeah, I think you're good. Okay. I'm gonna put a dab in here, make my pillow a little thicker in the middle. If it doesn't turn out, we can always give it to one of our daughters as a Christmas gift. Oh, that's real good. <laughs> oh my God. But I want you all to know that every single thing I make is for sale. And even if I have a wrecked tray, <laughs> that's real good. Yeah, we always have a backup. Oh, Tiff, Chris, oh. Do you need a tray? We have a beautiful tray. <laughs> oh my God. And you know what? They'd probably just be so nice. They'd go, oh mom, we love it. Oh yeah, they'd humor us and say, oh, thank you very much. And then it would end up in uh, their garage. Or Salvation Army or something. <laughs> No, I would never do that. No way, Jose. I, if I don't like it, 
and I want to keep it for myself, I would never give it away. Well, yeah, we, that's we, just we, the way we, I am. We would only give them stuff that we want to keep ourselves. I mean, we're not gonna dump all our mistakes on or your mistakes on them. <laughs> Oh, you caught that real quick, didn't you? I'm not going to take any responsibility. Well, that figures. I mean, that that that's a given. Uh-huh. Well, you said I blame you on, you know, for everything anyway, so. Who else is there to blame? Bouge isn't going to do it because she's a good girl. Okay, now we're going to do our cell activator. I don't blame you for anything. You're at least willing to try this stuff. Right. Yeah, your ideas, and then I have to, to try it and blow my brains out trying this stuff. Ooh, I'm going to have to make some more of this. Yeah. I don't like a lot of black. I know. Anyways. I know. But oh well, too bad. I do. <laughs> okay, so here we go. I got to pop my bubbles. Okay. I'm so used to picking stuff up. Oh, I can pick this up. Duh! I think that's what they put handles on there for. are quite the jokester, aren't you, Phil, today? <laughs> I'm put a handle on you. Oh, that's gorgeous. It's a flower. Yeah. Don't drop this. Oh. Ooh, these colors are pretty. Yeah, they are. They're very pretty. Ta da! Uh, hey. Done! <laughs> Done. Okay. Well, now you really want me to wreck it, right? Well, that's up to you. I mean, it's. It's really pretty. It's very pretty. Without it being wrecked. Well, maybe we shouldn't wreck this one. Just do some tipping. Maybe we should. That's, uh, that's up to you. You're, you're the maestro here. Can always wreck it after. The wrecking ball, you know what I mean? Mm, I don't know. Gotta let it just sit a little bit. It's gotta just release right oh, there. Okay. Oh. If you're saying wow, that's a good thing. Now if you go, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Oh, no. Tell everybody what you did today. What did I do today? You don't remember? You only had two full six-foot tables of coasters to put the backs on. Oh, yeah. I, uh, I put the backs on the coasters after I ground off some of the nubs, some of the nubs that developed the resin from, the, nubs. from the resin. So that was fun. I enjoyed doing that. You should have heard the swearing going on, everybody. No. He enjoyed doing it. Oh, sure he did. Yeah, breathing in all that dust. That was wonderful. I think this is going to be pretty. Yeah, it's I like do too. flowers. I do too, and I don't think you have to do a lot of, a lot of stretching on it. Just, I'm glad we put we, I'm glad uh, you put that base all the way around the edges already because that's helps to not overstretch in some areas to try to just get it in the little crevices. Crevices. Is 
is like two big flowers. Yes. Yeah, see, I got to be careful so I don't go over the edge. Yeah, exactly. Oh, watch out there. I know, I'm watching. I think I put just enough paint on. Right. I think you just have to get that one little right. spot. Well, I have to get this corner. That's where I'm going. Oh, that corner there? Mm-hmm. You, can you push a little with your finger? No? Instead of having to... Well, I guess you're doing okay. <laughs> Thank you, Phil. <laughs> I'm so glad you approve. <laughs> you are a it's... very good teacher. <laughs> I'm so happy you approve. Well, I'm like, I'm like a lot of people. We say a lot, but we don't know a lot. <laughs> But you think you know well, a lot. you know. At least I can admit I'm clueless. But I still like to, you know, put my two cents in. So everyone has noticed. <laughs> well. That's okay, they, though. The subscribers we've had for a while, they kind of they kind of know by now. Oh, they know you by now. That's why they want you to uh, do some of this stuff. And then I can give you my unsolicited, solicited, solicited, <laughs> solicited, solicited advice. Yeah. Unsolicited. My unsolicited. Oh, okay. I gotta get that there. It's driving me nuts. There you go. Ah, wow. You, I, I gotta do this here. Without having anything taped, and it turned out fabulous. Wow. Voila. Voila. It's pretty. Yes, it is. It's very pretty. Oh, I got just enough paint in there that I didn't overdo it. Oh, everybody, I'm so excited. Okay, now, the next step is I have to resin this, but I have to be careful of that, too, because I can't go over the edge. So, hopefully when this dries, it'll look really, really cool. It looks like two flower blooms, actually. Now, I could wreck it and pull up some well, things a, in there if you want. Well, you could, you could do that if you wanted to, because you don't do you have to touch it anymore. It? Do you think it'll wreck it? Well, if you kind of... Well, wait a minute. Well, I don't know if I'm we want to do that because... I think it's so nice the way really it is. It's really pretty. Really. I, I think mean, we better leave it. Yeah. I, I think we better leave it. Okay, everybody, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up comment. Um, please subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Join our family. We'd love to have you. We have a good time here. We're always trying something new. Whenever we go to the store, we're up and down the aisles, up and down the aisles, looking at everything. Um, I'm thinking my next project might be like a piece of furniture, maybe the top of a piece of furniture. I don't know. It all depends. So until the next time, I hope everybody has a wonderful day and I'll see you all later. Bye. Oh, and I forgot to say, um, like I, every single piece that I have is for sale. So if you want to um, email me, we can talk it over. If you like any single thing that I make, every piece is for sale. So now I'm going to say, bye.